What's good, World Squad? It's your boy Was coming at you with another Apex Legends video. Now it is currently 1:30 in the morning, and I am tired, but I got to get this video out for you guys. So this is some data mine linked information. I will leave the link to the data miner uh, shrug shrug tile. I don't know how to pronounce it. I will leave his Twitter down below, and if you guys want to go follow him, go follow him and uh, tell him that Was sent you. All right, but uh, before we get into this this video, don't forget drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more Apex Legends content. We are grinding to 8K subscribers. Yes, we are so close to 8K subscribers, and I appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me over these last few videos. It means a lot. Also, if you guys want to catch me live streaming while I rage, I, I rage a lot, you know. Uh, I'm over on Twitch. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. I just made affiliate. Well, not me. We just hit affiliate together. Um, yeah, and we got two subs already out of the 10 um sub goal that i created so if you guys have amazon prime or if your family has amazon prime or your mom your dad your sister your auntie she has amazon prime and you know they're not using it most likely because they don't watch twitch hey you know just hey ask them can you borrow the amazon prime sub up with the amazon prime it's free and uh if not just drop a follow it just you know it doesn't matter it means the world if you guys just come over there and catch me on the live stream and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into this video. The first thing that has been data mined out of this latest patch um, is Valk. Now, if you don't know who Valk is, Valk is another legend that's supposed to be coming to the game. And they added his sound files into the game. As you can see, hover loop, hover start, hover stop, ultimate activate, ultimate squad mate joined. And honestly, that's, his, that's a lot of good news. That's basically meaning um maybe he may be the next legend up because it seems like they're starting to kind of do like the last finishing touches on Valk, and uh that'll be exciting um maybe that may be the season seven legend but like i said take this as a grain of salt do not assume this is 100 percent facts but it does look very promising to know that they're starting to completely wrap up this character now if you guys are new around here i made a season six wish list and i'll leave that video down in the description below i left a wish list for things that i wanted apex to bring i mean things i wanted respawn to bring to apex legends and honestly it it seems like they're listening guys there it, it really seems like they're listening and and they're bringing live events as you can see right here it's they, they're going to activate the rocket and you can see the dates up there october 6th october 13th october 20th october 27th october 23rd and october 26th and this october 26th is when the rocket is activated now all this is subjective to change so there's no guarantee that it's actually going to start on those days but this is a good sign that live events are actually coming to Apex Legends and I'm excited because that I feel like that's something that would really bring a diverse feel and immerse feel to the game and it, it really will back up the story a lot. So I'm excited to see live events and if you're excited to see live events, I want to know down in the comment section below and while you're down there, don't forget drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's keep going with this data mine news. Along with live events, we're also apparently getting a new Tropic Island map. Now, me personally, I don't think this has anything to do with Season 7. I think this may be something Apex is trying to do. Uh, maybe give us like a special event on a new map. Because a lot of people have been saying that they want Apex to add like um, a TDM, like a team deathmatch. Uh, and make it like what? 3v3 in like school town people i've been reading it all over the place like on reddit and stuff so maybe this is respawn's attempt at trying to see how this will work out because honestly the battle royale game is fun but also having a tdm where you just automatically respawn and you just go like hey which team wins at the end or whoever gets the most points will we'll honestly be fun and hopefully that we get this but if that's not the case it's definitely for sure getting a new map we are getting a new collection event called aftermarket and apparently within this event this is where we'll be able to unlock caustic's heirloom now in the data files there's also bangalore heirloom and they call it tonfa like t-o-n-f-a now i am excited and i'm curious what is a tonfa and what is caustic heirloom gonna be now i do have some guesses that i'm just gonna pull out my hat my magic rabbit hat 
maybe caustic heirloom will be a canister or better yet a cylinder similar to the cylinder that was in the trailer for season six where he smacked pathfinder with it maybe that will be his heirloom and for bangalore i have no idea just kidding so i googled tanfa honestly yes i googled it because i had no idea what it was a tanfa is pretty much um it's like it's not nunchucks it's pretty much like a piece of wood and it's it's pretty much in the japanese movies and honestly i can understand why they would give her that because she's been combat training she's a oh, oh specialist she's a military like she 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 that woman i can't say the other word but she is that woman so i honestly if she got some ton of fuzz and they spin around and stuff that would be sick and amazing and honestly i think i'm more excited for bangalore's heirloom than caustic heirloom but at least we know we're gonna get most likely get them two heirlooms next this season we got the vault now the vault is a titanfall 2 gun and mostly honestly all of the guns and apex are really from titanfall 2 they're just different variations of their um predecessors now as you can see in the game files they added a new weapon called predator if you haven't played titanfall 2 the predator is like a minigun pretty much that's what it is it's a minigun now they're, if they're adding miniguns to the game i don't know what to expect for season seven that'll be insane a minigun like that's like walking around with a juggernaut bro and honestly if it's if it's anything like ramparts sheila man this is gonna be a bad bad day for anybody on the other end of that weapon now um i do want to while we're talking about weapons um i do want to say right now the meta change has been really really good but i do feel like the devo need a buff and i know it's way left field from the, the data mine leaks that we're talking about but um bringing the predator in will be awesome and uh, i can't wait to see what respawn does um i'm loving season six so far and uh, i'm curious on how you guys loving season six uh don't forget let me know down in the comment section below well that's all i have for you guys on this video uh if you guys enjoyed this information don't forget drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more apex legends content also follow me over on twitch we just made affiliate and we grind into 100 followers and 10 subs so if you got amazon prime just come over there drop a sub on the channel it helps a lot and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Pass me the baton at the track meet. I gotta keep my pace. I can't fall back and let them let me.